Okay, proper etiquette here at the beach. I'm just arriving. I'm gonna look for a spot that is not encroaching anybody else's personal space. Okay, people. It should be just low enough for you to hear and not everybody around you. You know, like the music. Sometimes we like quiet at the beach. I have my radio on. It's very soft. You can barely hear it. Only for me. Another tip at the beach. If you are at the beach with your children, please try not to have them feed the birds. It's really a nuisance. what we learned today for beach etiquette. Pick your spot carefully. No encroaching on other people's personal space. It's all about being courteous. You're not the only one on the beach. Just pay attention to the people around you. Don't feed the seagulls. Don't let your kids feed the seagulls. It's a nuisance. If you get a phone call, make it short and sweet. Don't make it a half hour long and we all don't wanna hear your conversation. At least you're into the conversation. And keep control of your children. I didn't show that at the beach today because everybody was pretty good about that. But take control of your children. This isn't the park that they play on the playground and you just sit by and watch them. This is a beach. People are trying to relax and enjoy themselves. If your kids are running around, being obnoxious, screaming at each other, nobody likes it. Trust me. And when you're leaving the beach, remember to leave the beach the way you found it. Clean, hopefully. Anyway, um, I do have another etiquette suggestion. My friend Jane always tells me it's not about the beach, it's about visiting somebody for the first time at their house. You always bring a small hostess gift, whether it be a candle, a bottle of wine, never go there empty handed. That's another etiquette tip that I wanted to share with you. Okay, have fun at the beach.